next one is one of my favorites. It's called the gate drill. And as you see here, I put a T in the ground back here as a starting point. And then halfway between me and the hole, I built a little gate. And that might seem pretty narrow to you, but actually that's the width of three golf balls. Just so you know if you want to set this, set this drill up yourself. This is the width of three golf balls. I can fit three in between here. So if you can't get one golf ball to roll through there, <laughs> you're certainly not going to make any putts. You've got plenty of room in there. And then as you graduate in this drill, what I do is I reduce the size of the gate. I mean, that gate might get as wide as a ball and a half. And picture doing this drill maybe at 15 or 20 feet, having to fit it through a gate halfway between you and the hole on a breaking putt. You have to have the ability to control the line of the putt and the speed of the putt on a breaking putt to work it through the gate of the halfway point. And if your ball is not in line halfway to the hole, it's certainly not going to be in line when you get to the hole. So this drill is a graduated drill, and I'm, gonna, I'm just going to demonstrate it in miniature here today, but you can use this drill at 5 feet, 10 feet, 15 feet, or 20 feet and control your line and your ability to aim your putter face. Okay, so now I'm very, very concerned that I get this ball in line right away. Okay, so I've got to aim my face pretty carefully and I see a lot of people working into their putts and not even paying attention or looking up. They get kind of what I call ball locked right in here. Well, you've got to kind of pay, play a mental game of connect the dots, if you will. You've got to picture your ball, where it's going to roll, and how it's going to get to the hole. So you got to play a visual game of connect the dots. So when I walk in here, I place my face down. I'm looking up through that gate to the hole. I'm basically tracing a line, if you will, down the target line on the way to the objective, which is the hole, the target, okay? So I work my face in. I'm constantly working my eyes up and down the line. And then last, I'm taking my stance or building my stance. I'm taking one last look down the line and then pulling the trigger. And you can see there, that ball right, went right through the center of those gates. So if, even if those gates were half the size, that would have worked. So try the gate drill in a graduated method. Start with kind of a three ball width at five feet. And as you continue on and get better at it, maybe you can reduce the size of those gates. When you try this drill at 10 or 15 feet, you might want that gate to start out about the width of a putter handle, about that wide. And if you can feed it through there at 15 feet on the way to the hole, you'll make more of your 15 footers too.